Uh, this is question two from the January 2011 BY1 paper. Uh, this question is um, about uh, cellulose, okay? And it's, it's an example now of where you have to fill in the blanks, all right? Uh, so there's a total of six marks here. And uh, again, if you know uh, your cellulose structure, okay, uh, you should have no problem in answering this, uh, this uh, second question. OK, um, right, let's go through it then. Cellulose is a fibrous molecule. It is a carbohydrate and it's main, uh, sorry, and is the main component of the what? OK, so you've actually got uh, uh, two spaces here. All right, so that indicates that the examiner wants uh, two words. Uh, it's, it's a component of the cell wall. All right, uh, it's, uh, simple as that. Uh, cellulose consists of chains of something glucose. Well, in there, they want you to put the uh, the name of the isomer of the glucose. And, of course, it's beta-glucose. Uh, for your A-level, um, it's only uh, cellulose that has uh, beta-glucose in. Okay. Um, okay, so it's beta-glucose molecules which are joined together by one for what? Well, it's glycosidic bonds, okay? Each adjacent glucose molecule is rotated by 180 degrees, okay? It's flipped on its head, all right? Uh, this uh, resulting in a chain. So chains are held together by hydrogen bonds, okay? So remember the long straight chain of beta-glucose. Uh, you've got the OH groups pointing up and down, uh, from the beta-glucose molecules, and they can form hydrogen bonds uh, between the chains. And uh, lastly, uh, forming groups of chains known as uh, microfibrils. Remember, lots and lots of chains of beta-glucose, hydrogen bond together to form this, this uh, larger structure known as a uh, microfibril. Okay, the answer to the, that is not macrofibril or cellulose fiber all right a cellulose fiber or macrofibril is formed when many microfibrils uh, join together okay so the answer for this one is uh, microfibrils okay uh, i've filled in the blanks now uh, i just want to make one more point um about the glycosidic bond uh, just to remind you that uh, it's uh, it's called a 1,4 glycosidic bond because the bond is formed between carbons 1 uh, and carbon 4 of uh, neighbouring glucose molecules. Okay, uh, right, so that's uh, that's the end of question 2.